Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design these cards over here. So when we hover over these cards, we can see that the social media icons are displayed over here at the bottom. And we also have this tilt animation over here for this card. So whenever we hover over any of these different positions in the card, the card tilts based on the position of the mouse pointer. And the same goes with this card over here. And we also have this uh, glass effect over here for this card. So we can see that we have this blur effect and it looks like glass. And it is called glass morphism. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. Alright, so I have opened up this folder called glass morphism in VS Code. And I also have this folder called images. And in that we have these images. And we're going to use this in our design. So let's start by creating an HTML file. So let's click on this new file button. And let's create a file called index.html. And let's also create a style.css file. Alright, let's start with the HTML file. Now in VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let me also add the link of the style.css file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the href, I'll just type style.css. Alright, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a container division. So let's create a division with a class of card container. And in that for each of the cards, we'll create a division with a class of card. Now in the card division, the first thing we need to have is the image. So let's create a division with a class of photo. And in that we'll have an IMG tag and in the SRC, I'll just type images slash. And the first image is called person1.png. And the next thing we need to do is we need to create the name and the social media icons. So for that, let's create a division with a class of content. And in that, let's create an H2 for the name. And we'll just type a name over here. Right now, the next thing we need to have is the social media icons. So for that, let's create a division with the class of social. And in that, we'll have anchor tags. And here in the href, you can just type the link of your social media pages. For now, I'll just type hash. And in the anchor tag, we will have the IMG tag. So I'll just type IMG. And in the SRC, I'll just type images. And the first image we want is the Facebook icon. So let's type images slash Facebook icon dot PNG. And I'll just copy this anchor tag from here and paste it two more times. And the next image we need to have is Twitter and then we need to have dribble. So I'll just replace these links over here. So I'll just type Twitter. And here we will have dribble. All right, so that's it with our card. Now we'll just copy this card from here and I'll just paste it down one more time for the next card. And we'll just make some changes over here. So here in the image, I'll just type person2.png and here we'll also change the name. And I think that's it with the HTML. So let's open this in a browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So you can just install this extension. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our design is displayed over here in the browser. All right now let's start styling this. So let's go to a style.css file. And the first thing we'll do is uh, we will style the card container. So let's type card container. And for the card container, we will have a width of 700 pixels. And let's set a height of 400 pixels. And now let's add a background image. So I'll just type background URL. And here I'll just type images. And this is the image. And let's also set the background image size. So let's type background size. And we'll set it to cover. So that all the image is seen over here. All right now let's set the display to flex. So that both the cards will be one next to the other. And we'll also bring it to the center. So I'll just type align items to the center and justify content to the center. Right now, I'll just bring this whole card container to the center of the page. So I'll just add some styles to the body. So here, I'll just type body and I'll just set the display to grid and I'll just set the height to 100 viewport height. And here you can just type place items and set it to center. And now we can see that it is in the center. Right now, let's style these cards. So let's type card container card Let's set the width of the card to 200 pixels. Now we'll also add some space between these two cards. So I'll just type margin of zero for top and bottom and 32 pixels for left and right. Now let me just add a background color to see what is the width. 
Right here we can see that we have a width of 200 pixels for the card but we have a higher width for these images. So let's target the images. So I'll just type card container, card and the profile image is inside a division with a class of photo. So let's target that. So I'll just type photo, IMG and I'll just set the width to 100%. Right now we have the correct width for the image. Now let's change the background color to an RGBA value. So here I just type RGBA and we'll just have a white color with some opacity. So I'll just type 255, 255, 255 and for the opacity I'll just type 0 0.07. And now we can see we have this white color with some opacity. Now let's also add some blur for the glass effect. So I'll just type backdrop filter and I'll just set the blur to let's say 20 pixels. And now we can see that it looks like glass. And let's also add a border radius for rounded corners. So I'll just type border radius and I'll just set it to 10 pixels. And here we can see that the image is not affected by the border radius. So for that we have to set the overflow to hidden so that anything outside this card is not visible. And now we can see we have the border radius for the image. Now let's also add a light border for this card. So I'll just type border and I'll just set it to 1 pixel solid and RGBA and the same color over here. Alright, now let's set the font family of the card. So let's type font family and I'll just set it to Roboto. And I'll just set the font color to white. Alright, now let's add some padding to this content. So here we can see we have created a division with a class of content. And in that we have the heading and the social media icons. So let's target that. So I'll just type card container, card, content. And let's set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and 24 pixels for left and right. Right now let's add some padding bottom to this card. So here for the card, I'll just type padding bottom and we'll just set it to 24 pixels. And now let's style these social media icons. So let's type card container, card, social, IMG. And we'll just set the height of the image to 26 pixels. And now let's position all of these images evenly. So let's type card container, card, social, and we'll just set the display to flex. And uh, here we'll just type justify content and we'll set it to space between. And you can also add some padding if you want. So I'll just type padding zero for top and bottom and uh, let's say 12 pixels for left and right. Right now by default, we don't need to have the full width of this card. So let's go back to the card. And we'll just set some height for this card. So I'll just type height. And we'll just set the height to 210 pixels. And now we can see that the social media icons are not being displayed. Now when we hover over these cards, we want the social media icons to be displayed. So let's type card container, card, colon hover. And I'll just set the height to 260 pixels. And we'll also add a transition to the card so that we'll have smooth animation. So I'll just type all to 400 milliseconds. And now let's hover over these cards and now we can see that the social media icons are displayed over here. Now the last thing we need to do is add the tilt animation. Now for the tilt animation I'm going to use a library called Vanilla Tilt. So just google for Vanilla Tilt JS CDN and you will get this link of cdnjs.com. So I'll just go to this link and I'll just copy this uh, Vanilla Tilt Min.js from here. So let's click on this button called copy script tag. And let's go back to our HTML and I'll just paste it over here just before the body ends. Right now the only thing we need to do to have the tilt animation is just add data tilt to the element. Now we need to have the tilt animation for the card. So here in the card I'll just type data hyphen tilt and I'll just do the same over here for this card as well. So I'll just type data hyphen tilt and let's go back to our website. And now let's hover over this card. And now we can see that the tilt animation is working all right. And uh, it is working over here as well. So that's basically how you create a glass morphic card with a tilt animation. Now you can make a lot of customizations in the tilt animation in the vanilla tilt library. So if you go to this link over here. And if you scroll down, we can see that there are a lot of options you can customize. So if you want to have some advanced tilt animations, you can go ahead and check this out. But for now, I'll just have this basic tilt animation. 
And that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.